Hi, it's Matt here for NewShooter.com at NAB 2016. I'm with Trish from Cineo Lighting. Now, your HS Remote Phosphor series has been incredibly popular. Now, you've got a new addition that is uh, not remote phosphor, but it's the HSX. What sort of light is it? Well, it's interesting. Um, it is remote phosphor blends. What we do is we specialize in color, color quality. We really want white light to be clean and full and rich and deep in reds and complete in its spectrum. And one of the problems with off-the-shelf LEDs that most LED companies use is they weren't complete enough. That's why we never really went down that road. But um, we at Cineo are pretty fortunate to have a talented group of engineers and scientists and, and resources where we have been able to take our remote phosphor recipes and blends and apply them to our own Cineo color specific LEDs. So the diodes that we use in a color changing fixture aren't the same as you would grab off the shelf or traditional traditional fixtures. They're actually very specific to us and proprietary to us. Okay, so the HSX we've got here, what, what is the differences between this and your existing HS2? Mostly it's control. I, I feel like right now the, the, the game is all about how can I control this light. Okay, so what are some of the features on the HSX that we've got here? Um, it's actually really simple. Uh, we have color, or I'm sorry, we have dimmability on this side and we have color changing on this side. So we've got some quick presets. Um, as you can see, it goes from 27 to 6,000 and you can roll in between each one of those, but you can just pop through it if you need quick reference. Uh, there is a USB port on the back of that. You could charge your phone, maybe, <laughs> but um, really it's to uh, power up for any kind of um, firmware updates and you could also use a uh, wireless DMX types of features. Uh, DMX is on the bottom. Everything that we do is DMX compatible, including our little itty bitty pieces. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that. Is this mains powered only or can you run this off uh, external batteries at all? Um, it's mains power primarily, but there are a number of other companies like Block Battery that you can invert to. So a uh, traditional inversion is always an option, but it pulls 400 watts. So you really can't sled in v locks. It, it'll blow up your batteries to do yeah. that. And also, um, you've, you've got nice instructions here on the back, making it very simple yeah. and easy to use. Uh, the build quality looks fantastic. It's a, it's a very sturdy light. Um, Absolutely. You know, the, we see a lot of lights that come out in the marketplace that are made out of sort of hard plastics. What's the mm -hmm. benefits of having something that maybe you're sacrificing weight, but you're getting better quality? Yeah, well, we've actually gotten our lamp head down to about 10 pounds, so it's really not even that heavy. But I'll just I'll tell a really quick anecdote. Um, I had some friends that were shooting one of those... Um, modern day star search types of, of shows. And a forklift driver ran over the HS head. Uh, the ballast was destroyed, but the head still worked. So we're building things that are not only gonna have color quality for 10 years, but it's gonna have construction for 10 years, and it's gonna have warranty for at least half of that. Okay, now when's this gonna be available and what sort of price are we looking at? Uh, we're looking at mid to late June, ETA. We still have that last 5% to get through, so um, everything is looking really good that we're gonna have at mid-summer. And price point is awesome. Uh, it's under $4,000, so it's right on par with our traditional HS light. So it's really just what is it that you wanna do with the light, because both tools are awesome. Um, it's just how does it fit your model. Thanks very much. You're welcome.